I think that's a little bit of a question for Margaret, but I, I think he does. He's more of that kind of person. My name is Margaret Larlam, and I'm a professor of theater here at San Diego State University. And in the last 20 years or so, my focus has been theater for youth. My latest and probably my last venture here on the Don Powell stage is the BFG. And the hair is going to be pretty minimal. Yeah. I'm Terry Tavares. I'm the costume shop manager here for the School of Theater, Television and Film. Margaret always brings us wonderful challenges. So this time our big challenge was the Giants. But this is why we love a Margaret show because there's always a challenge in it. And puppets have become the thing lately, I'd say in the last five, six years that we're doing. So our big challenge in this was to do the six Giants that are needed for the show and get them to her in a timely manner. My name is Nao Kobayashi and I'm doing costume design and puppetry design for this production. I often go to rehearsals and do lots of sketches of each actor's body movement, body posture, and facial expression. And this is how I developed each character of the puppets. And is this supposed to be for Sweden? For Sweden. Okay. okay. Working with Margaret has been really fun. We always come up with really fun things, sometimes really tricky things. We are probably like good mischievous friends. <laughs> we have the appearance of a huge giant, but at the same time, we're still seeing the actual actor performing. So it's really nice for the actors not to be all covered up. So it's a thing of a double exposure. I think it's going to be nice. I have a low tolerance for boredom. So I've had to develop strategies as a director to combat the audience's boredom. And I think that physical theater fits into that bracket really well because what you're tar targeting, you're using the body as an, a symbolic form. You're adding sound, you're adding movement, so there's dance. And then I'm really, really interested in the visual image as well. That means you're, you're really targeting all the senses at the same time and, and really offering to the audience an opportunity to see a world that is really totally believable and enthralling and transformative. So it's a very charged experience for me. And it's a very kind of important thing. But at the heart of it is the childlike openness and curiosity to the world and the joy of finding crazy connections between things and making up stuff. I mean, really, that's what a director is, is sort of doing, is having the best time making up stuff, you know. And, and also that the audiences will, I hope, enjoy it. So. That's what it's all for, really.